Hey guys, my name's Nick. I'm a Microsoft certified expert administrator. I create a lot of content for MSPs. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to perform an autopilot reset. So in previous videos, I've showed you how to use the autopilot service. I've showed you how to enroll devices into the autopilot service, either with a hardware hash or through an OEM provider or via a deployment profile that you create after a device is enrolled into Intune. Now we're gonna get into the actual reset piece where you have an employee that is leaving the organization uh, or you wanna do a complete clearing out of the device itself and maybe apply new policies or push down new applications or maybe this device is just going to a new user uh, so you want to wipe the existing data from the previous user and have them complete an out-of-the-box experience that you define uh, where they can roll their profile from Active Directory and then everything that they have access to will push down to that device and they can be productive in a matter of minutes versus having to do that all manually behind the scenes. So one of the first things you'll want to do is in the Endpoint Manager portal here, again, if you go to the 365 Admin Center, under Admin Centers and go to Endpoint Manager, um, you'll have this portal listed here. And with your devices that you've set up, you can go under the Devices section and then Windows 10. This will show you the, the profile that we're going to do the autopilot reset on here. Um, but as you can see, we wanted to go into the enrollment section too and just look at a couple of things. So one of which here is if it is assigned to a certain user, you want to make sure that you do change that. So you can click on assign user and just change the user to the new user that you're going to apply it to. If you never assign it to your user, then that's fine. There's really nothing that you have to do because when you perform the autopilot reset, it will prompt them to put in their Azure Active Directory credentials and it will load up their profiles and, and policies and everything like that that you've actually assigned to that particular device or that particular user, um, depending on how you want to manage this. If you have, though, assigned this just for the more white-gloved experience for the end user uh, when they receive the device, then you'll want to come back in and assign it to a new user. So I've actually assigned this one here to Megan. And if I pull this up, you can see that I've listed it here as Megan Bowen, and I've got her reassigned. So I'm going to go ahead and do the autopilot reset on the device itself. So if I go back under the Windows devices, I can click here. And you'll notice that I have Autopilot Resetter at the top of the page here. It's going to give you a disclaimer uh, whenever you do this, which is telling you it's removing personal files, apps, and settings. So be careful before you do this. Um, have some procedures in place for the storing of information um, for personal files and applications and things of that nature before completely wiping it. Um, but this will take it back to a business ready state for this particular new user. If this is grayed out for you, it means that the device is not currently enrolled in the autopilot service. And so this is something where you want to go back to those videos where I showed you to grabbing that hardware ID or enrolling the device into Intune uh, to be able to go ahead and enroll, uh, use the deployment profile to convert it into an autopilot device. And then this will show up here. Um, so we'll go ahead and click on yes. This is going to tell you it's pending. It'll tell you when it's completed. Um, and then this is the machine that we're going to see. Um, if it's if it's open and live here, you'll get a message in a few minutes that tells you that it's about to restart. Um, but if you if you don't and you just have it shut down, I'd wait about 10 minutes or so and then boot that device up. So I'm going to take a pause here uh, while this does that and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so we're back here and a couple of things to note, one of which you'll see when it completes here, it'll be in a pending status within the endpoint manager portal. Um, but then as soon as it triggers and goes through, it'll go into this completed status. So you can see the, the date and time stamp there as well too, whenever you actually do this. And then from the computer standpoint, it'll load back up and complete the out of box experience. And again, you have your company branding here. If you've added that, you have your name of the user. 
uh, that we showed earlier there that you define and then also your tenant name as well too so then that person can get this device and they can just simply type in their password and all of the settings apps policies that you've configured for this particular user will push down um, creating a much easier change management process for you versus having to manually intervene uh, from an IT perspective so that's everything I wanted to show you guys in this video feel free to comment below with any questions